is, why do you get mad at God for correcting you? Why do you keep screaming and yelling because God's correcting you? If he's correcting you, that means you're his and he loves you. Right. For they, for a short time, corrected us after their own pleasure, what they thought was beneficial. But God, for our profit, that we may partake of his holiness. No, cha no correction at the time it's given is joyous, but mm -hmm. it's grievous. It's painful. It's embarrassing. It's humbling. You can think of all those words. Nevertheless, afterwards, it gives us peaceable fruits of righteousness because we were exercised by discipline. Now, I'm going to just ask you a question. How many of us, I know I have, and I'm sure you have too, in the last year has God corrected you and you realize you are a different person than you were a year ago? Mm -hmm. In your speech, in your responses, in your thinking, in just everything. Everything. But was it any fun when you were going through it? Did you understand mm -hmm. the purpose of it when you were going through it? Mm -hmm. But it was when you yielded to it that it began to make sense. Make sense to you. So what do we learn about discipline from this passage? It is good. Do you get stronger physically if you don't res have a resistance? No. 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 There has to be resistance for you to get stronger. You have to be lifting something. You have to be pushing yourself running. You have to do lift weights. You have to... some. There has to be a sense of resistance for there to be any kind of growth or building of muscles to make you more fit. It's the same thing with disciplining our children. And if the reason we are disciplining our children is because we want them to grow, then we're going to do it differently than if we're just angry and we're punishing them. Right. There's a difference between punishment and discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline may feel like punishment, but there's a purpose to it that changes something. I've told my kids, I will make your life miserable because you are not going to have this kind of character. Mm -hmm. I will do whatever it takes to get your attention. I'll take everything away from you. I will strip you down. I will make your life miserable because you will not speak this way. You will not act this way. You will not lie like this. You will not. Whatever. It is. I mean it. I absolutely mean it. And they know it because I've proven it in the past. But it takes effort on my end mm -hmm. more than just anger. Now, remember we talked about anger last week. Anger is a light bulb of, whoa, something's wrong. So then we have to go back and say, okay, why am I angry? And then sometimes we got to find out, yeah, maybe I'm just emotional today. Maybe I'm a little hormonal today. Maybe I'm really mad at my husband and I'm taking it out on my kids. Maybe I'm mad at my job. Maybe I'm concerned about health. Maybe, maybe I haven't really forgiven this child for the last five things they did. And I'm overreacting to this one thing they're doing. So we have to be pure in what we're doing. Is that easy? No, but neither is accepting discipline. So <laughs> yeah. we have to, without being angry, we have to show authority in our tone because kids know by your tone. A dog knows. Right. If I say, come here, come. If I say, come, sit. Why do we do that? Mm -hmm. It's authority. But yeah, we whine at our kids. Won't you come over here and sit down? Or we get mad. I say, come over here and sit down. And we're just, there. they know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Surprise them. Keep your tone level and say, come here now. They'll be like, and then follow through if they don't. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way it is in my house. Pleasant words bring life. Mm -hmm. They bring strength. And all the negative negative things they hear at school and all the negative things they feel about themselves and negative things that Satan throws at them, if you've put a word in there, then they have something to combat it with. I am important to my mom and dad. My mom and dad do love me. My mom loves me. I am important. They're glad I'm their son. If you're told you're, right. that you're, I'm glad you're my, my daughter, I wouldn't choose anybody else. Wow. That's huge. Okay, let's read Ephesians. Unto the hearers. So our words are not to be corrupt. What does corruption do? It destroys. slowly erodes mm -hmm. and destroys. So if our words are corrupt words, bitter words, harsh words, 
we're going to tear our children apart right. with our words. But they should be good to edify and minister grace. That was what I was talking about earlier, about if a child tells the truth, even at their own expense, minister grace to them. Right. There's nothing worse than going to someone. This is really, let's just be honest, it's lack of maturity. I've hurt your feelings. Say I've hurt your feelings, Delina. And I realize it. And I come to you in tears. And I accept complete responsibility for what I've done. And I tell you, I'm so sorry. I should have never treated you that way. And then you just blow up at me and just spill all this poison back on top of me. You may mm -hmm. feel better. But dear Lord, I don't. It makes you feel worse. And do you think I'm ever going to come back and apologize to you again? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I lied to you and I walk away. This is a big one. I lied to you, and I walk away, and God smites my heart. Mm -hmm. And I come back and say, you know what? When I, you asked this question, I lied to you. And I said, da-da-da-da, and that's not true. If you minister grace to me, it's gonna, we're going to get closer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be able to be more honest with you because I've just built, you've just built a bridge of trust. I tried. I, I reached out. Mm -hmm. And you, you reached your hand and you grabbed me. But if you, if we have a spirit of offense, then we go, I knew you lied to me and I can't believe you lied to me. And did it, how many times do we do that with our kids? Mm -hmm. With our spouses? Because we just, we're hurting so we want to hurt someone else. But that's not the way Christ was. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think this is a really great, great lesson. When our children do well, we are at peace, mm -hmm. and we are delighted in their success, in their accomplishments, in their the favor that they have of the Lord, and people. We want people to like our kids. We want mm -hmm. people to respect our kids, to think highly of them. But we are the ones responsible for teaching them those things. Mm -hmm. And it's never too young to start. And um, Or too old. Or too old. No, it's not. And I, I suggest this, especially with the little ones. I've said it before. If they're doing something, you're not. You think, oh, I can take care of that later. Add ten years onto it.